When I need food fast for my family or my dogs, I always turn to my Instant Pot. Today's Instant Pot dog food recipe has tilapia, sweet potato, carrots, and asparagus in it. This is a great recipe for dogs that have allergies. I'll go through the recipe with you when we get back. Okay, so I'm going to chop up carrots. These are organic. It's about a pound here. And because they're organic, I'm going to just rinse them off. Figure the nutrients and whatnot in the carrots are going to be from the soil. Good bugs. So rinse and I'm going to cut all these up into little pieces here, bite size. I'm going to chop asparagus. Ooh. Try to use up as much as I can, asparagus, and just chop it up real fine because I do have small dogs and a border collie. And the border collie will pretty much eat anything, but the little dogs I have to chop, chop, chop. So here's our asparagus um, carrots, which I did not remove the skin. I did not peel those. I did peel these sweet potatoes, and the sweet potatoes, we will dice those up as well. That's about a cup. You could use a half a cup if you don't think your dogs will eat it. Here's my sweet potatoes. They are peeled. You could leave the skins on if you want to. It's actually really good fiber in there, but I usually only do that when I buy organic. These are not organic, so I peeled them. Okay, the first thing I do is put my little trivet in there and then add a cup of water and my coconut oil on the bottom. I'm going to add three pounds of tilapia on top. One thing I've noticed with this uh, Instant Pot is that if you have sweet potatoes, they, they will burn on the bottom. So I always kind of layer those on the top. Here's my carrots, unpeeled organic, five cups of sweet potato, and my asparagus. Top on, make sure that it's sealed. Okay, so we're gonna go with pressure cook, high pressure, and I always put keep warm canceled because I want it to cool quickly. And I'm gonna go ahead and set this. The last thing I made was bone broth, so it was set for two hours. So we're gonna to want to set this for four minutes. So four minutes on high, and we will have some dog food. And when we get back, we'll add in our canine limited blend and our Icelandic omega-3 fatty acids. Okay, now we are going to open and voila. Is our finished recipe. I'm gonna stir it around a bit. Pull out the trivet. Cool enough, and we're going to go ahead and add the premix and the omega threes. Technically, there's enough omega-3s in the fish, but I just added some extra. Mix it real well. And this made probably about 12 cups of food. I know it looked like I had a lot more in here when I got started, but fish is a lot, a lot of fish is just water. So um, it really does uh, boil down. So once you've got it mixed well, you can go ahead and freeze it in individual servings or use up what you can in four days. The Canine Limited Blend is a perfect example of why less is more. The recipes are less time consuming and can be prepared in the Instant Pot in a snap. This is my go-to recipe for when I'm busy. It's simple and a great way to introduce home-cooked meals to your senior dog with sensitive digestion or a dog with allergies. The Holistic Vet Blend Canine Limited Blend follows a basic blueprint. Choose three pounds of one or a combination of meats, with the exception of liver, as we already have added vitamin A, D, and E. Meat 
is cooked in two tablespoons of coconut oil. Add one pound of carrots diced into bite-sized pieces. Choose four to eight ounces of greens, broccoli, kale, spinach, parsley, Brussels sprouts, or asparagus. Choose a carbohydrate source, one or a combination of sweet or white potato, quinoa, brown or white rice, oats, macaroni, or barley. You may add sardines in water, mackerel in water, or salmon, or an omega-3 fatty acid such as holistic fat blends, Icelandic omega-3 fish oil to the recipe, or supplement separately based on your vet's recommendation. Just omit it from the recipe during the initial preparation and add it upon serving. Add two tablespoons of the HVB Limited Blend Premix. Mix well and you're done. Please let us know in the comments if you'd like us to come up with some more recipes using the Instant Pot. Um, and what are your favorite recipes? Please let us know.